In this video, I'll talk about placeholder control. Placeholder control is used to dynamically inject object, and that object can be HTML server control or ASP.NET server control on the page. So, in case uh, we have a need where we want to inject any object dynamically from the code behind on the page, we can use the placeholder placeholder control. The difference between the panel and placeholder control is that placeholder control directly place the control on the page, but panel control wrap that con uh, wrap that content that we are going to add from the server side inside the div element. Okay, I think uh, if you are not sure about the panel control, you should see the previous video related with the panel control. So here we are. I am going to show you that okay how to add or how to place controls on the page without wrapping inside the div container. Or in other words, you can also say that how to add controls into the placeholder control. So here is my placeholder uh, placeholder control. You can see that there is nothing inside it. Simply ASP plus holder placeholder uh, one is the ID and run at equal to server. And then from the code behind, what we are doing is that we are uh, adding certain controls. So here is my code behind, and I, I am simply writing. First, I've instantiated the label control, set its text, set its ID, and adding into the placeholder control. Placeholder one dot controls dot add and then label in the same way i have added the uh, added the text box and then i have added the uh, the literal control and then again that uh, label and then again uh, text box so i have added basically 1 2 3 4 and 5 controls from the code behind now first let us see uh, let me just comment these out and let me show you that how it is looking like uh, when I'm running this, running this page without anything from the code behind. So on this page, I have just placeholder control. That's it. Now let me run this page and show you how it is look, how it is looking like. So here is my placeholder control on the page, and there is nothing appearing. When I will go to the code behind, you will see that nothing is appearing here. Even the div is not there. Right? Generally, if you keep keep the uh, panel control, you will see that one div will come but in case of placeholder control even the div doesn't come it means that that proves that uh, the panel control doesn't wrap the controls that you are going to add inside any html tag now let me uncomment these codes and when I, mean, I will uncomment this code naturally all these controls will get added into the placeholder control so now let me run this page and you will see that all those uh, controls like label first name and then text box then label last name and then text box and then uh, we are specifying the text of that particular level and everything is being added into this particular placeholder you can see that all things are being added into this placeholder and one very important to note here is that it is not being wrapped into any HTML div uh, um, element so this is the basic difference between the panel and the placeholder control so in case uh, you have a need where you don't want to wrap uh, the controls inside any div element then you can use the placeholder control and if in case you want to wrap it with the uh, wrap your controls within the div then you can use the uh, uh, panel control Th these are basically uh, uh, very important when you have when you are dealing with the css uh, styles on the page and uh, you have uh, some CSS style written for the for the div and when you are using the panel controls that then that div is also getting affected so if in case you know these kind of uh, scenarios are there then you can simply use placeholder controls so that your con uh, your uh, content that you are going to add dynamically from the code behind will simply directly get written on the uh, uh, on, on the on the browser web page